from this January 2024 Pure Mathematics P2 International A-Level and Excel paper. Here we have a question which is um, dealing mainly, I think, with integration and differentiation. It says here, um, again, calculated and technology, you have to show your steps. It says, figure two shows a sketch of the curve with the equation y equals a half x squared plus 1,458 divided by the cube root of x cubed minus 74, where x is greater than zero. The point P is the only stationary point on the curve. Use calculus to show that the x coordinate of P is 9. Okay, so now we have to um, find the coordinate, the x coordinate of the stationary point. Okay, which means we have to differentiate and find when dy dx is 0. So at P, we should know that dy dx is equal to 0. So first we take our y and we write it so it's compatible to be differentiated. So I know that the cube root, the square root of x cubed is the same as x to the power of 3 over 2. Okay, the, 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 new, the, root, the power is a numerator and the root is a denominator when you write it in index form. But this is in the denominator, so I'm going to write it as 1,458 x to the power of minus 3 over 2. And then you've got your minus 74. So now it's ready to be differentiated. So when we find dy dx, we multiply by the power. So 2 times a half is 1. So it'll be x to the power of 1. Take 1 from the power. And here we have negative 3 over 2 times 1,458. So let's just work out what that is. So we have 3 over 2 multiplied by 1,458. That gives us 2,187. 2,187 x to the power of We've got to take away 1, so it's minus 3 over 2, minus 2 over 2, which is minus 5 over 2. The constant becomes 0. So this is dy dx. So we have to solve this equation where dy dx equals 0. So we have x minus 2,187. I'll write it as over x to the power of 5 over 2 equals 0. So now I'm going to multiply both sides by x to the power of 5 over 2. Okay, in which case I'm going to get x to the power of now, if, that's, if I multiply, um, you know, x to the power of 1 by x to the power of 5 over 2, I have to add 1 to the power. So that's going to be x to the power of 7 over 2 minus 2,187 equals 0. So I can now say x to the power of 7 over 2 is equal to 2,187. If I want to find what x is, I have to raise this to the power of its reciprocal, which is 2 over 7. Therefore, I have to raise this to the power of its reciprocal, which is also 2 over 7, so I'm left with x equals, this is the 7th root of 2187 to the power of 2. So first of all, let's find what the 7th root of this is. Hopefully it will give us a nice, easy number. So we're going to do um, the 7th root of our last answer. Yes, it gives us 3. So... Um, that's going to be 3 squared, which is going to be 9. So we can see that the, um, the x coordinate of p is 9, and that's what we had to show. Okay, good. So it worked out to be right. So that's the x coordinate of p. We've shown that by uh, solving the equation, dy dx equals 0. Okay, so that's the answer to part A. And now for part B, it says the line L passes through the point p where x equals 9, as we know. So P has the coordinates 9 and something, and the Y coordinate of P, sorry. Okay, um, so the line L passes through that point and is parallel to the x-axis. So it's going to be Y equals some constant. The constant will be the same value as the Y coordinate of P. All right, the region R shown shaded is bounded by the curve, the line L, and the line with the equation X equals 4. Use algebraic integration to find the exact value of r. All right. So that means we've got to integrate between the curve and the x-axis, but we've got to take away this little rectangle, or we've got to take the integral of what's, you know, uh, the curve minus the, the line underneath it and integrate that between 4 and 9. Okay, so we know the, the, the x-coordinates, what we need to know is really this 
uh, y coordinate of p, we can work out what the equation of this line is and we can proceed. So before we proceed, we need to find the y coordinate of p and that's going to be when x equals 9. Okay, so we're going to put that in here. So we have a half times 9 squared plus 1458 over the square root of 9 cubed minus 74. So let's see what that gives us. The y coordinate of p is going to be. You can just stick that straight in the calculator. We have, um, that's 81 over 2. Sorry, 81 over 2. 9 squared is 81. Okay, plus we have 1458. 1458 divided by the square root of 9 cubed. Okay, and we're going to have minus 74. What does that give us? It gives us 41 over 2. Is that correct? The square root of 9 cubed. The square root of 9 is 3. 3 cubed is 27. 1, 4, 5, 8 over 27. That gives us 54. So we had 81 over 2 plus 54. Just making sure I didn't make a silly mistake. Plus 54 equals and minus 74 yeah it's 41 over 2 so this is 41 over 2 that's a bit of a strange coordinate but that's that's the equation of this line y equals 41 over 2 okay so now what we need to do is we need to integrate this function minus 41 over 2 that will help us so it's like the integral of y1 minus y2 with respect to x gives you the area between those two curves okay for those uh, values between four and nine so i'm going to have nine and four so the area is going to be integral of that of all of this is going to be a half x squared plus 1458 x to the power of negative three over two as we said to get ready for integration minus 74 minus 41 over two with respect to x what's that going to give us so you're going to have plus 74 it's going to be negative 189 over 2 i'll just write it out 9 and 4 a half x squared plus 1458 x to the power of negative 3 over 2 minus 189 over 2 and now we can start integrating. When we start integrating, we don't write the integral sign anymore. We put a square bracket. That's going to be a half x cubed over 3, which is 1 over 6 x cubed. Okay, and this is going to be 1,458 x to the power of, if you add 1, you're going to have minus a half divided by minus a half. And you're going to have minus 189 x over 2. And the limits are 9 and 4. Okay, so now this is going to give us 1 over 6x cubed minus, it's 2 times, because when you divide by half, you multiply by 2. So it's going to be 1,458 times 2. It's going to give you negative 2,916x to the power of, or you can say over x to the power of, uh, over the square root of x we can write over the square root of x okay and you're going to have minus 189 x over 2 okay and that's what we have to put in here are the values of 9 and 4 okay so now let's get on with it so you have 1 over 6 9 cubed minus 2916 over the square root of 9 minus, yeah, square root of 9 minus 189 times 9 over 2 minus, then we got the 4 to put in here. So we have 1 over 6 times 4 cubed minus 2916 over the square root of 4, okay, and minus 189 times 4 over 2. Okay, and that will give us our answer. Okay, so I'm just going to stick this whole thing in my calculator and see what comes out.
So I don't even need to have this bracket here on this side. Okay, let's have a look. Hopefully we get the right answer in the end. So we have um, 9 cubed over 6. So 9 cubed okay, over 6 minus, whoops, up there, minus 2916, 2916 over the square root of 9, which is, of course, 3. Okay, and we got minus, and we got 189 times 9 over 2, 189 times 9 over 2. That will be the same as that. It's fine. Okay, minus in brackets now, we got uh, 4 cubed over 6. 4 cubed over 6. And we got minus 2916. Okay, 2916 divided by the square root of 4, which is 2. Okay, and then we got minus 189 times 2. Okay, because that 2 and 4 cancel out. And there we have the answer is equals, and we get 373 over 3. So 373 over 3, okay, units cubed. That's the volume, sorry, the unit squared, well, where the volume come from? Unit squared, it's area. Okay, that's the area of the region R, okay, um, in exact form. Okay, so you don't try to write it as a decimal. It says exact area. You leave it as it is. 373 over 3. And that's the answer to this question. Um, we could have integrated this expression without taking away the 41 over 2. And then did 40, we could have found what the answer was and subtracted from that 41 over 2 times 5 because that would be the area of this rectangle. And then that would have given us the area under the curve up to that line L. Okay, well, what we did is we subtracted the equation of line L from the equation of the curve and then integrated between those limits. So it gave us the area enclosed between those two and x equals 4 and x equals 9. Okay, so there's the answer for question number 10. Part B, is there a part C? No, that's it. So that is the end of this question and the end of this paper. That completes the January 2024 International A-Level at Excel um, paper from um, Pearson's and it's from January 2024. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here at the end of the video. Other questions dealing with differentiation from P2 um, can be found in the playlist over here. And questions dealing with integration and area under curves you can find in the playlist in this section over there. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.